Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll talk about how GPT-4 is really powerful and you can build website in no time. Let's have a look at what we are building today. This is the AI art website. And when you click on any image, it will show you platform details and prompts. I was able to build this website in no time and it has even logo and other stuff, right? So let's click on this and see it has link. And I chose this layout because this is not very simple to design. I wanted to check if GPT-4 can build it or not. So this is a simple requirement. I want to build an art image display website. So let's take this, go to chat GPT. I'm using model four. Uh, this is disappointing that, you know, they have been reducing this message limit. Uh, so let, anyway, let's get started. So we have our first set of code ready. Let's copy this and try and run. So we can see here our images are loaded here, but we do not have the grid, right? Let's go and ask. I can't see. Layout. All images are, are vertically stacked. So let's see. Let's run this and see. So we can see our grid is perfectly fine and taking required space. Okay. So Let's go ahead and add a model in this. So I want to click on this image. When I click on this, it should provide me details re related to this image, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So I provided the prompt here, add a functionality when clicked on image, image should open in a model. We should get an image, uh, platform and prompt details. It should have a closed button on model should be, and model should be within a screen and not overflowing. So this is the prompt I have given, let's see. So it is providing me the code. We'll wait and check. So we have all the code. I have copy pasted it. So let's run and see. I'll reload this. Let's click on this image. So we can see here we have platform mid journey and prompt is XYZ. Let's try this platform stable diffusion. Prompt is random because that's what I have given in the JSON file. This looks good. Let's try to add some header and footer for this website. So let's go ahead and add header and footer. So I'm giving this simple prompt, add a header and footer uh, for this and header, add a YouTube link to a for success with icon. So let's go ahead and try this. So it will update HTML, CSS, and it will provide the code. Let's wait. So we have the code here. So we got the code and I have updated the content here uh, with the YouTube link logo and all. And index.html, I've updated the logo location. That's all. So let's run this and see. So we can see now that we have header and a footer uh, with logo here. So let's click on this. Let's see if it is able to take me to YouTube channel or not. So I've updated the link correctly. It was not able to find it. So yes, it is able to take me to uh, my channel here. Let's click on this. We can see here, you know, we have platform and this. So it looks fine, right? We are able to build this website really fast. Uh, and I believe that, you know, ChatGPT4 is able to write a big chunk of code now and it able to understand if you provide the prompt very clearly. Thank you guys. If you like this video, uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. See you in next video.